gentlemen, welcome to another WMG video. In, in today's video, we're going to discuss more on hero recruitment um, for you guys there who are beginners and are in your mid game for Exos Heroes. But before we start, please like and subscribe to this channel, and away we go. So, guys, if you have started this game um, in a good way, or what I mean is if you if you've summoned um, characters that have been beneficial in, in what stage of the game that you're right now, then you're on the right track. But let me tell you something. When I started this game in, in my main account, um, I didn't know who to summon first, especially for 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 the first reroll that we get, the, the free one, the free five star. Of all the characters that I got, I had to get Monica. Because you know why? I like the way she looks. That was it. That was my criteria for getting her first. But as it turned out, I made a mistake. I I didn't regret getting her because she helped me um, during the uh, the early stages of my of of me playing. But in the end, I I think I missed out a lot and it slowed down my progress. Um, Fortunately, that main account is not a free-to-play account. That is why I, I kind of quickly recovered um, um, getting additional heroes. But for this one, for the hero for the hero recruitment guide, this is free-to-play friendly. This is um, this is um, how free-to-play players and mid-game players should have a mindset in terms of. How they should build their hero pool or um, their teams that they're going to bring in the different um, areas of the game so to start off during your your reroll the, the the free one the the five star um, gift that they're going to give you for a five star character at the start of the game I would suggest only three characters that you would get number one is Rudley he has been um, getting me wins early stages of PvP. He has been getting me through the campaign or the chapters, and he has pretty much um, been steady during this time. The second one would be Baraka. Baraka, I don't have him in this free-to-play account of mine, not yet. But Baraka is one of those. Um, uh, characters or heroes that you would also need because of his high DPS but he is fast he is really freaking fast so um, if you prefer him over Radley then be my guest because both of them are high DPS players but um, uh, Baraka is more of a more on speed but Radley is more on damage so for my number three, I would suggest that you get Ulum, because Ulum is is pretty much a no-brainer in the early game. Um, he brings a lot of toughness in your defense. He has provoke. He has self heal. Um, he has high damage output, even without battery. So. It's 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 a what do you call this? It's a no-brainer to get him. So those three are my top three for for the reroll for the five star. Honorable mentions are Maggie and Bernadette, but down the line you'll be able to get them, I'm sure. But these three, these are kind of hard to find or hard to summon. So for the reroll for the free reroll five star. I would say I would again suggest Rudley, Baraka, and Ulum. The next one would be your hero collection. So I would when when you collect heroes for this game, when you start out especially, you classify them according to according to what they can help your team. What are their strengths? So the first one would be your healer. So if you've noticed, I never suggested any reroll for any healer, because because you'll be getting you'll be getting 
um, a lot of healers in this game particularly um, a good one at the rare um, the rare kind of hero which is Kaya so Kaya let me look for her first Kaya, what's unique for her is she has two skills which are heals, her S1 and her S2. So you can unleash her potential which makes her a very good character even uh, for multiple content like for example PvP tag and also the dragon stage. Um, the other healer that I would like to suggest in 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 your hero pool is uh, Anastasia so if you cannot get Anastasia get Kaya but if you have if you have uh, Anastasia she also brings a different dimension to 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 healing because of her s2 her s2 deals a 525% damage to the enemy um, which is very very good aside from her s1 which is heals all enemies uh, sorry heal heals all allies by 14 percent and it's a burst heal okay um i wouldn't get her if she healed all enemies so anyway she heals all allies our next category would be your defender so for your defenders you have i think the best to start if you if you got him in your five star reroll is ulum so again, Ulum is a very, very nice character to start with, especially if you have Bathory in your early game. So Bathory brings, activates a lot of his skills uh, and both of them could wreck a lot of damage in the early and mid game. Um, but Ulum as a standalone is tough and, and can hold off a lot of enemies in the early game and mid game. The next would be, um, if you can't get Ulum, you can get Mahar. Mahar um, is pretty much a high percentage drop in terms of uh, recruiting. So what I like about Mahar, he has similar, similar block damage to Ulum, which is around 390. So both of them are tough and they block a lot of damage. That is why uh, for for the early game and mid game, Mahar is very good, and he also he also has provoke. So he's kind of similar to Ulum. He's like a poor man's Ulum, but um, if you have the chance to get Ulum, get him. But if not, you get Mahar. The next one would be let us see. The next one would be a legendary character. Um, where is he? can't seem to find Degas. Here he is. So Degas. Degas' OG form is very, very good. He doesn't need his FC, uh, his FC form. Um, he, he is good because number one, he is also provoke. He has provoke and he increases his maximum health and he has share health with all his allies. As far as as far as his kit goes, he is excellent also with his S2 because of his freeze for five turns. So as as far as defenders are concerned, um, why I chose these three because they have high damage, high sorry, high high block block uh, damage block percentage or numbers. And also the three of them have provoke, which improves the survivability of your heroes and your team. The next category is it's pretty much a kind of rare category, but I only have two recommendations for this. It's the mana category. So my first recommendation, because he is pretty much easier to get, is where's Pan? Pan, here he is. So Pan, the reason why I'm putting Pan here because he he gives mana to everyone. Let me see. 
target gains mana. So, removes all status effects and tar all targets gains one mana. So, he is one mana short of our, our must-get character. Hopefully, would you advance um, to the mid-game and, and probably end-game um, status of your account. But Pan gives a lot of mana. Uh, to all, uh, not not a lot, but at least he gives one mana to everyone in your team, and he also decreases defense by 14 of his own defense. Okay, so he's pretty much a utility character. He has cleanse and he has shell shelter investigator. Um, the other person that I'm recommending for for this team would be I have to go out would be FC Iris FC Iris has has been what do you call this FC Iris has been a big shift in the meta especially for PvP and also for PvE content because number one she fuels a lot of burst characters um, two mana almost every turn or every turn uh, can 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 really pump up the mana and unleash a lot of damage if you have a lot of burst characters because of this skill so it's only one mana skill so removes all status effects from targets targets gain mana two mana so if you have for example a battery at the back end which gives you one mana every turn so this is guaranteed every turn that she that she performs a skill she can do this so she's really a game changer i think the only chance that you could get her would be through the string of creation would and that would be a couple of months from now um i'm sure the devs would be dropping a string of creation for the summer festa but for now um if you can get her if you can summon for her this would be a really big help for your account um, but if you can, Pan can help you pretty much in that area. The other category that we're going to discuss is AOE damage. So try to try to get a hold of these these characters or these heroes because you will be needing a lot of AOE, especially in um, in your chapters and also in pvp because the meta right now in pvp is pretty much aoe um so our first one is maggie so maggie dishes a lot of 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 uh, aoe for her first skill and for her second skill and she has burst damage on her second skill um, burst is usually common for fire heroes so Maggie is one of the best damage dealers that, that we have in this game and she is very attainable for the for the earlier stages of the game our next character which is very attainable as well which is good at AOE is Bernadette and she recently um, got her fate core Fate core, um, fate core self, if I may say, um, she unleashes a lot of damage for for a very very um, least amount of mana, which is three. So she unleashes for S two, she unleashes 100 178 percent damage to all enemies, and it's burst, but it only costs three mana. So that is why Bernadette is um, Bernadette is a big help for beginners and for mid game players our next uh, AOE character is a legendary character and it's Scarlet so Scarlet uh, is pretty much like any fire fire hero um, her her burst burst damage for her s2 is 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 big but it requires five mana so as long as you could find a way on how to um fuel her her mana requirements and um most probably it's better that 
uh, she is being taken to to what do you call this to six star big so that she could take advantage of that big burst but if she's only um, f- uh, five star her mana count is only up to five so it doesn't really help her burst but she has to be taken to six star for her for her to shine our last character for for AOE is Annie so Annie is is a bit of a utility um, especially if if you have her FC FC um, FC form um, but for her regular form or her original form it's uh, it's an AOE for S1 and for her S2 for her FC your her S1 turns into a single attack but it silences the your your enemy one single enemy so for let's let's talk about her her original form because most most beginners in mid game would be able to get her um she can she can still be be recruited through the the i think it's the stream of creation for redley so you can still get her there but if you are pretty much in the early game and, if you, and, and you don't want to spend a lot on uh, a lot zest on on what they call this on on stream creation um her original form is really okay so she also has a big burst damage with also with which also requires a lot of mana um again what what is common with with uh, with with the characters for AOE is, is that most of them or all of them have burst damage but these are the the easiest characters to get in the early stages of the game the next would be your high damage single targets um, let's start with again I will take you back to Redley Redley um, in my main account i got him a pretty pretty much pretty much late already as i've said um if you can recall earlier i was a, i did summon monica for my free free reroll so it was i think a pathetic move but i got redly um for my main account i think in the middle already of or in mid game mid game level already um and right now he is pretty much catching up with 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 uh, with with those that I have six starred already. His S2 is 760 percent damage to one enemy, and his um, S1 is 525 percent for three mana, and his S2 is um, four mana, uh, and it's also a burst damage. So. I would highly recommend you get Rudley if you have a chance to get him. Our next um, high damage single target would be um, most of them are legendary, so the next would be I think Karina. Um, at first, I didn't um, when I started, I didn't really look at Karina that much in terms of her viability, but as I play the game longer i realized that she's good for for the whole holy dragon grounds and she is a very good single single damage uh single single target damage dealer she deals 840 damage to one enemy even though if she doesn't have burst this is really a lot um you need, you don't need to to six star her to maximize her because she does she doesn't need the extra mana um she is actually very good in, in in dealing a lot of punishment to your single targets the next one would be um he is a dark character um adams adams currently in in this free to play account of mine is is very useful because um i created a lot of content due to due to him him um Radley and I was really fortunate to summon Deva. Adams is a good character. Um, he should um, he should be one that is to be kept in your team, especially for his element, which is dark. It's really hard to find good dark characters, but 
for a single target high damage character um adams is very good and the last one um on this list which i didn't really really um appreciate till i saw other videos is astarte um um actually my daughter was laughing when 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 she saw her animation but astarte uh, deals a lot of damage because again she has similar um she she doesn't have she has i think the biggest percentage of damage for one enemy and burst i would suggest you level up her either her or radley initially if you have them okay and um on our last our last what do you call this our last category is the revive character so to start off i'll start with cybel so cybel is part of um the chapters and i think uh you will be getting her during during if, if you clear one of the stages there um she is a good reviver uh for a beginner um she she has skills which uh which cost zero and her s2 cost three so she revives fast and heals fast our next would be another legendary character which is karen karen um is also a good um what do you call this is a good reviver um she has burst on her heel um my only my only what do you call this my only concern for her is that um you have to you have to level her up to uh six star for you to get the most out of her because her revive skill is at five mana and bur in a her heal burst is also at five mana with the same skill so um that is why um in my in my in my accounts i haven't used her that much because um she needs to be at level six to be maximized but if you get her to level six i'm sure you'll be able to to maximize her well our last reviver which i'm using right now with her fc fc form is lepin so lepin has a good kit uh for a reviver um even with her original form but more so with her fc form but um for beginners and mid game i would suggest if you can't get her fc form her original form is really really good because her revive is also at three mana her s2 it's also a burst heal as well and it also cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects on all allies and her s1 is also pretty much pretty much good which gives heal over time to one ally by 10 percent of own maximum health so of of the three revivers that I, we have discussed uh, Lepin is pretty much all around That is all I have for you today guys take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video